High school sports fans, are you following Varsity Media on our YouTube channel? For the best coverage of New York high school sports, make sure you head to youtube.com slash varsity media. Three easy steps. First, hit that like button, and then be sure to subscribe. And finally, tap that yellow bell to be notified of all of our upcoming sportscasts. Thank you for following Varsity Media on YouTube. Snap more than the ball? We've got specialists for that. Jump shot, leave your knee shot? We've got specialists for that. Face down after that face off? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Afternoon of big boy lacrosse in Suffolk County. Two of the best in the 6-3-1. Not just this year, but every year. Ward Melville, Northport. Next, right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Today's Suffolk County Showdown presented by Orlin and Cohen. Well, a pleasant good afternoon, everyone. Dylan Butler alongside Brian Soper. Uh, for what should be a, a really fun matchup, Soap. I mean, you've got uh, two teams with incredibly rich history of every year being among the best. Certainly Northport three-time defending Suffolk County champions. And, and Ward Melville, we know about their past as well. So really kind of any time these two teams meet, and especially right now, both coaches kind of mentioned this game as the litmus test to, to see how these two teams can go going forward. Both coaches had tremendous respect for, for both programs. Uh, Northport even saying how they've kind of modeled themselves after Ward Melville. they become like the standard of how you want to run your program from the youth on up. The youth is here today in full yeah. force, and I think that's what both teams stand for, the model of building lacrosse from the ground up, from the youth to the varsity, and then sending guys to the next level. Yeah, Ward Melville, as we show you those guys on the field now, 4-2 and two on the year. Uh, but listen, talk about strength of schedule. Your two losses are to Chaminade and Garden City, right? Not too shabby. Uh, and they've bounced back from that. They've won all of their games in Suffolk Division One, So they're 4-0 on the year. And on the other side, Northport 4-1 on the season. Their lone loss, a final second one at Connectquat. So uh, this should be a lot of fun. But we're at Melville. Listen, they're a team that traditionally is built on really good goaltending, really stout defense, and some dynamic attackmen, and, and, and this year is no different. You gotta be able to score on, on, on Ward Melville, right? They've, they're well known for their defense, right? Face off X, we know that that's gonna be really strong. And uh, you know, the idea that you, you kinda, six, six headed monster on offense, you're not quite sure who it's gonna come from on, on a given day, but they got plenty of firepower to, to light up the net. We'll show you the Patriots players to watch in this one and on attack Zach Brittman he's the QB today so if he can uh, get some assists get guys like Stephen Rosano and Liam Banks Jr. going it might be a good day for the Patriots and on the other side when you wear the number 44 that means you are a special player and this year's guy you know when we spoke with Jay Negus uh, could not stop saying good things about Aiden McMinn. Yeah, even, the, even Northport was raving about yeah. McGinn, McMinn, right? 44 from Harold Drum to Grasso, right? That's a huge number. Uh, you know, it just, it's just one of, those, one of those things that if you wear that number, uh, ultimately sign of respect that you, you, you mean everything that the program is about. Hard work, dedication, and passion on the field. And Britman, I'm excited to see him, right, in terms of uh, going to Iona, assist guy, 
uh, Coach Negus called him that guy who stirs the, stirs, the, stirs the drink there for Ward Melville. So those are the Patriots looking maybe for a little bit of revenge here today. They fell at home to Northport in last year's Suffolk Class A semifinals. On the other side for Northport, it's a little bit of the same formula as well, right? Listen, you lose a generational long pole uh, in Andrew Miller, um, but you've got, again, really good physical, tough defenders. Um, Northport also in recent history have been known for some solid goaltending as well, and you've got some really good uh, attackmen as well, uh, and we will obviously detail a few of those guys as we go along. Yeah, so Northport, right, Delaberti, right, on attack, junior Ohio State commit, uh, a lot of young guns. It's a nice mix of, of old and young, right, for Northport, uh, you know, looking to, to lead them this season and get back to the Long Island Championship uh, where they lost a tough one and a great game to, to Farmingdale. And there's a good look at Delaberti, one of our Northport players to watch, as you mentioned, heading in the future to Ohio State University. 11 goals, 9 assists, or excuse me, 14 and 10 on the season. And last year was a guy who was an 80-point guy, just as Jay Negus said, a hammer, right? Like, you can't give this guy room to shoot because he will put it past you. And Giancarlo Valenti, he's that enforcer in the back. And, and because of an injury to Cam Foley, will be playing long stick midi, but a guy who, if he wasn't, if Foley was healthy, uh, he'd be that leading guy in the close defense. Yeah, Delaberti's a, a goalie's worst nightmare. Shoots a hard, heavy shot uh, from all over the field. Valente on the wing. How about having Valente and Quinn Reynolds on the yeah. wing uh, for you? Right, and you know, you, you miss Miller, but you have some really good guys who replace him on the wing. And I think that's where uh, Northport really looking to control the middle of the field, which they've done for the last few years. Let's take a look at the starters for both of these teams now first for the visitors from Warren Melville and Soap it was almost a game time decision in the cage do we go defeaty do we go shoulder righty or lefty That's right go the bullpen. where we start and well we're starting with the lefty all right for the first half and uh, starting from the attack back Rosano Britman and Banks you've got Kilduff McLaughlin and McKay Face-off guy, we'll talk about that matchup as we go along, but Matt Murphy is that guy. McMinn, as we mentioned, Devin Larson, Jake Sudley, and Defeaty in the cage for head coach Jay Negus. A guy that once upon a time was a player with you collegiately. Yeah, played play with Coach Negus at uh, UMass. He was a great midfielder. Uh, for Coach Cuzo and Ward Melville. Uh, also a teammate with Harold Drum, who wore that 44, uh, and now the coach at Mount Sinai. Uh, just great tradition. You know, as a Hicksville guy losing to Ward Melville in the uh, Long Island Championship, uh, I have nothing but respect, but the, the green uh, gives me a little bit of the, of the shivers. <laughs> the the heebie-jeebies. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the starters for Northport now. Tigers coming into this one, four and one on the season. A really terrific attack line. You move Lyacono as a freshman was a first line midi. He's now up an attack. You got McLam and Delaberti. So take your pick there among those guys. El Mala, Cash, and Reynolds. Reynolds, the last couple of years, was one of the best D middies around. And, and now he gets to also play some attack as well. He's got a couple of goals on the year. And you see Baumgarth at the face-off X, and then Nick Castro, who's been a, not a surprise, but man, he has really stepped into an into a unfamiliar role this year and has played great. We've got Bolin, Levine, and in the cage, Quinn Napolitano. He is a Northport lifer, one of, what, four Northport boys to come through, and a, a lifelong family friend as well of their head coach, Billy Quartz. Quartz said, listen, I probably shot too hard at him when he was a little bit too young for that. As there's a good look at Billy Quartz. First year as a head coach, but no stranger at all to this program. A 2003 graduate of Northport, paid his collegiate lacrosse at Cabrini. His identical twin brother, Brian, 
was a goalie at Siena. Also, his younger brother, Tommy, another goalie at Siena. There was James as well. Uh, we'll detail his story as we go through, but it was really remarkable, right? A, a, a youth friend of Louis Acampora, uh, who, of course, as we know, tragically died after taking a lacrosse ball off of the chest. And we know so much about the Acampora Foundation. Uh, well, what we didn't know, I think, until this call with Billy Quartz is that became his his emphasis to play lacrosse. Yeah, didn't even play. It wasn't even playing lacrosse. You see the shot there in the in the huddle. You see the 12 on the back of the Northport jerseys, right, rec recognizing Acampora uh, and, you know, what he means to this program. Yeah, remarkable stuff. And there you see it on the back of all those jerseys. It's across the way as well here at Northport High School. We'll take a look quickly at the keys to the game. So for both of these teams, and listen, one thing is for sure, it's going to be a game that will be decided at the face effects because of the different ways both of these teams want to play. Yeah, Coach Negus talk, talked about getting an early lead, right? Northport, they get the ball, can be deliberate. Uh, that also possessions ties into that ground ball war. And Coach Negus wants to see them shoot better, right? They hasn't felt like they put enough shots on net. Change or when, your levels, too. Yeah, change your levels, right? Coach Negus was a real high overhand shooter, right? He wants to see that. Don't be afraid to bounce the ball, right, if you're the Patriots. It's Ward Melville and it's Northport. Beautiful day here on the North Shore of Suffolk County. Opening face off when we return right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Snap more than the ball? We've got specialists for that. Jump shot, leave your knee shot? We've got specialists for that. Face down after that face off? We've got specialists for that. Orland Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Here's Dante! Does it again! Defensive play. Dante Vidaro. Gillico! Ties it up! By Diesel! Steps up and scores! The jump shot for Nell! Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. Snap more than the ball? We've got specialists for that. Jump shot, leave your knee shot? We've got specialists for that. Face down after that face off? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Here's Dante! Does it again! Defensive play. Dante Vidaro. Gillico! Ties it up! Move by Diesel! Steps up and score! The jump shot for Nell!
Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. Back here at Northport High School, Dylan Butler, Brian Soper, our entire varsity media crew for a battle of two of the top teams in Suffolk Division I this year. Where Melville and Northport, these two teams met last year in the semifinals. It was at Ward Melville. It's tough to get a win in the three villages, but that's what Northport did on that day. And uh, a big win for them, and there you see the head coach, Jay Negus, a Patriot through and through as the coaches for both teams with the handshake. I think that's cool about both coaches is that they both were alumni, right, and both are so proud of their programs. It's just awesome to see guys running it who care so much uh, for the program. And we mentioned before, the face-off X will be key today. And we've got two of the best, certainly in Suffolk County, right? Look at the percentages here, equal. Identical. Between Mount Garth and Murphy. Both also future Division I guys at their craft. Baum Garth will go to Dartmouth and Murphy. No, oh, sorry, to BU. Did I get that right? No, Dartmouth for Where am I? Guard. Yes. Murphy's going to BU, Terrier. So opening face-off. Watch out for the wing play here, too. Some, as you mentioned, some terrific wings from Northport. There's one of them getting the ground ball. Shocker, Quinn Reynolds, right? Swiss Army knife, do-it-all guy for Northport. And Reynolds! Reynolds wrap right away off the first face-off. Does what he does. Ground ball into a transition goal. Stings it. Doesn't look, like, doesn't look like just a D-Midi to me. Yeah, this was not a settled offense here. As it's like Randall just kind of reads it. No one's going to step to me. No one's going to slide my way. Great shot, great recognition, right? Perhaps, you know, knowing that a lefty's in the cage there and, and finding his spot. Reynolds' third goal of the year. This one goes to Murphy. But the back check. There's Valenti. And now a scrum. And Ward Melville comes away with it. But that's like what we've... Brian Brecht, right, when we had that UMass Rutgers game, said face-offs are only as valuable as a question mark dodge and a first save of the game. Only valuable if you can get possession. Good first save there by Napolitano, senior. A little off hip shot there. Good good to get that first one under your belt. And good outlet pass. That's McLam. During Devin Larson. That was the outlet to Vasello, right? Coach Quartz called him a junkyard dog, right? The guy who's really doing the gritty work in between the lines. Good catch, good clear. Getting getting Northport into their settled offense. And this is what the concern was for Negus. He showed you those keys. He said, we've got to get out to a quick start because Northport is so deliberate offensively. Here's Logan Cash trying to get downhill. Cash denied. He went high to high, but he was hammered on his way there. Looks like Northport will be man up. This is what Coach Quartz was kind of concerned concerned with a little bit, right? Wanted to make sure that they stayed out of the box today. Cash goes to the cage hard. A little slide there by number one, uh, Devin Larson, right? Again, a tough, strong defender. And they're, and they're locking him in for the full minute on that high elbow. Yeah, back when Kuzo was coaching, I'm not sure that that, that, one, <laughs> yeah, that one gets called, but yeah, it's a different game. We want to protect player safety. That's what's important. Uh, definitely a little bit high there, right, giving Northport uh, a man up, and you definitely want to find 
Della Birdie here. See how see how Ward Melville plays it. And he's up top right now. But don't expect him to to play the point if you want to use a hockey analogy here. This will be a full minute man up for Northport. That's Almala. Little birdie up top. Just kind of spreading the ball around now. Side arm low to low, and a nice save by Defeaty. You're well, Ward Melville, you love that shot. Right? You'll give that one up all day. Northport trying to carry, carry from the wings and kind of you know, have Ward Melville pass guys. Good man down defense for Ward Melville. How about that? Patriots right away with the timeout. You mentioned, Soap, this is a matchup of two of the top teams in Suffolk, but also two teams represented in the varsity media top 15. And there you see it stretching across both the publics and the Catholics. And you can see we've seen a whole bunch of these teams already this year. Yeah, we've seen Southside play, you know, play a couple times. St. Anthony Shamna just had one. St. Anthony shutting them out in the second half. Tremendous. See Wantaw, big win against Southside. Garden City's kind of rebounding after a, a two, two losses, but just a packed top 15. Some of the best teams on Long Island and some of the best teams in the country as well. And not too far from here is Kings Park, riding a perfect 6-0 start. Oh, there they are. And there are the Patriots. Again, four and two on the season, but Niga said quickly, right, listen, those were our non-leagues. Um, they play as difficult to schedule as they're allowed. You have less opportunity to play non-league games in Suffolk as you do in, in Nassau. Uh, so that he's really used it every year, right? You, you play Garden City, you play Chaminade. That's a, that's a pretty good two right there. Yeah, Northport was saying that they also scrimmage Chaminade in the, in, the, in the preseason, right? So these teams are looking to, uh, to play the best of the best. And they'll get Garden City at Farmingdale State, a game we'll have, which will actually be live on Varsity Media Pass. So you want to check that one out. All right, off the timeout, Ward Melville. You can see the pressure put on, but Brody Morgan just absorbs it. Steps in, and what do we got here? Offside. For Ward Melville. Yeah, you saw Morgan there, big lefty, 6'2. Towson commit, right, running through the clear, but just a little miscommunication staying on side for Melville. So, some conversation among the officials here. Maybe a little reverse. We're saying it was against Northport. So there's six out there for North uh, for Northport. And five for War Melville. So. What we do know is it's War Melville's ball, and shortly they'll be able to kill off this one minute locked in man down. And it started with the save, and then you get the clear by this man, Brody Morgan. Morgan, a thousand commit. Lefty Dodger, terrific finisher. He's got Valenti and Reynolds. And Valenti got him. Yard sale. So we come the other way. But that was a nasty slash. So another man down now. As it's a delayed penalty. One of those soap you don't really need, right? Like no, oh, he's got it cleared, right? Just one of those where you just let him let him let him go and you know let your defense 
let your defense play six on six. Now you look staring at a free possession plus a man up coming. That's Almala. Della Birdie, oof. That'll sting right off of McMinn. Good eat there by McGinn. You see the slash again. Yeah, here it comes. Boom, right on the elbow. Flag goes immediately. So second man up now for Northport. Let's see if Northport does the same thing. Delaberti stayed up top last time. Let's see if they try to maybe cycle him through and try to get his right hand open for a shot. Yeah, there he goes. Delaberti, low shot off the mark. That's his office right there, right? That's like where Ovechkin in hockey I was about to out. say that. Yeah, I that think was... I might have used that one yeah. last year, but that's not a spot where you feel real comfortable if you're a goaltender with him loading up. I was about to say, when he went to the slot like that, he looked like Ovi. He's, nice he's going with. back there, but they did pick him up. You can maybe skip it his way. Oh, what a shot! Low to high, man up, cash money! Cash rules everything around me. Unbelievable shot, way to sting it. Sienna commit, eighth goal on the season, but that's what Delaberti does. He opens this up, he opens up the middle. Right, as he's getting out towards him, you see him find a sweet spot here. Right, cash money, top corner, off stick high, tremendous quick release. When you get into that crease against Ward Melville, you gotta get rid of it quick, and he did. Almala, the assist, and for Logan Cash, his sixth goal of the year, a man up goal. Procedure against Murphy, so this faceoff goes for Northport. Melville's got to stay out of the box, right? Northport's way too dangerous, right, to allow them to play six on five. Net, it's, it's, it's off its off its moorings. It is windy out there. It is. We were slightly delayed before because they had to string that up which is maybe something that Della Birdie might be salivating about. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, that cash one might have rocked it back a little bit. That had some heat on it. Love what we're seeing too early on, right? We, did, we just saw that McMinn on Della Birdie. Best on best. See Melville pushing out a little bit here. You know, that's what Coach Negus was concerned, right? They fall behind, and then it gets a little deliberate on offense, and it, and it kind of takes the momentum and the flow of the game away. And then maybe you're frustrated and take a whack that you shouldn't. Here's El Mala. Dodges to his left, tries to get topside. Kicks it back out. Here's Almala again. Back to Cash. Cabrera off the mark. Good looking athlete, sophomore. Yeah, Sister Emerson. She was a Gator. Yeah. Part of that unbelievable girls program here at North Tour. I like how he just stuck his foot in the ground and just took off, right? That ability to shake a defender. You know, the ability to get on the other side of somebody is not the easiest thing to do, and he did it rather easily. Here's Cash again. Spins. Twice. Almala. Little hitch. And again, we are a year away from the shot clock. And as such, Northport can spend as much time as they want here. Oh, what a feed in front and the tap in. Timmy McLam. It says thank you very much, right, to uh, Emila with a great feed. Brian Commit, kind of deliberate, almost like you lull him to sleep, right? You lull him to sleep, boom, shakes to his, to his left here, feed across there, McLam, boom, Sacred Heart Commit. 
tic-tac-toe there. Unbelievable job. Love the quick hands there by McLam. Yeah, no, no chance for the goalie to get back when you can use soft, you know, soft mitts like that to put it in the back of the net. Murphy, clean faceoff win. Fogo goal! Ben Ellers. Benny Buckets. I see you, Cash, and I raise you. That was huge. I was about to say, <laughs> I was about to say Melville needs a possession. And all of a sudden, he starts to fi you know, fire up that long stick. I'm like, no, no, no. And then it's like, yes, yes, yes. If you're going to stick a corner like this, whoop, unbelievable. Beats him high. Just what Coach Negus and the Patriots needed. Ellers, second goal of the year. That's a former attackman with the long pole. So that green light is always there. And Negus was like, I give him a green light. And that was, you know. See if you get another one here. And Murphy goes back to back. He was on the carpet for a moment. Again, that's Reynolds. Yeah, he's just around the ball, always sniffing it out. So now where Melville gets into their offensive center. I was about to say there almost feels like their first, right? It's been so long that they have not had the ball. Errant pass for Brody Morgan. Morgan does a good job to pick it up. Smart. Lacrosse IQ there. Got it to Rosano. One of the senior leaders, that grinder on the attack line for the Patriots. That's Thomas Murphy, no relation to Madden Murphy. And Brody Morgan, he's got the short stick, Matt. Oh, he got the pole, excuse me. Look at that, they didn't slide his way, and then Morgan just stung it wide. Yeah, Coach Nigas talked about, you know, some games shooting as many as 50 shots, right? We got to get them on net for them to count. Good knockdown. Now another. 50-50 ground ball, which was another key for Ward Melville. Yeah, Northport seems very comfortable in their man-to-man -man matchups, you know, pressing out a bit and saying, hey, you gotta, you gotta win your matchups here, Melville, if you're gonna get to the cage versus us. Thomas Murphy tries to get downhill. Difficult to do against Reynolds. Yeah, like Reynolds is a guy, if I'm coaching, like I almost treat him like a long pole. He's, he's probably not the guy we wanna go on. That's Britman. Morgan again. Morgan spins. Great stick work. Yeah, Northport seems very comfortable in their matchups. Not very quick to slide. 36 was Asher Levine, a guy who was a pole, then last year sacrificed to be a D midi. And now back at close defense. So that second midfield, you know, subs out here. You get fresh legs out there from Melville, right? Killed off with the ball. Now St. Mary's commit. Here's McLaughlin, who will head to, I to the Ivies to play at Harvard. She's wicked smart. <laughs> Slow How about them apples? Low shot by Rosano off the mark. Yeah, big game. They're playing UPenn this weekend. Coach Byrne, Long Island guy. Reynolds. Here's McLaughlin. Tries to work off a pick. McLaughlin, low to low. That's an easy one to save for, for Quinn. Good save, quick pitch out. And we'll get a timeout for Northport that save by Napolitano. Some big games coming up. Brian Soper on the Varsity Media Sports Network. We'll take a look at them. 
But Mineola Bethpage in the girls' side of things, you and I will be on the call for Staples and St. Anthony. Staples back-to-back -back Connecticut State Champions. Farmingdale Southside, Middle Country Comac, Cold Spring Harbor Wanta. That's going to be a very interesting That's game. An interesting game. Wanta, you know, they we're in, you know, they're in the C comp, you know, the power power conference, but you know, Cold Spring Harbor will play as a D in the playoffs. Wanta is the favorite in the C's, right? So, you know, two two tremendous programs. Cold Spring Harbor has been around for a long time. Wanto is that team on the rise. And then you go after Somer Southside. You got girls and boys back to back Woodstick Classics out under the lights at Manhasset. Does it get better than that? It's going to be interesting this year. They're back. They're back together in the B's, right? One of those teams will not be able to repeat as state champions as they're going to compete in the Bs together after the season playing in the Power Conference in Nassau County. You know, Southside's like, yeah, but what about us? We're ready to take that title. We'll take a quick look at the standings here in Suffolk County as they break. And there you see, right, Hills. Is it Hills year this year? A lot of young guys. Yeah, or are they a year away? Is it Northport to go four in a row or at Melville, you see Connequat kind of sneaky there. You know, you lose a couple of All-Americans a year ago, and yet they got the walk-off win against Northport at home. So uh, it is as difficult as ever in big boy lacrosse here in Suffolk County. Here's Cash. And it's funny, right, that sort of the arc of greatness in Suffolk County, right? You had Ward Melville, who's had a few different runs at that, a few different dynasty eras. Of course, West Islip under Scotty Craig. Uh, now they're a B, but they were the A team, not just on Long Island, but in the country. And now, most recently, you know, you had Northport, nice swim dodge and good trail check as Defeaty out of his cage. But when Graffiti loses it momentarily. But when you had Ports as a player, Northport had a nice run there of championships. And now most recently, obviously, again, three in a row. But only that one state title. Yeah, you just think, you know, how many generations of, fa you know, even when on the call, it's like you're talking about, is that a brother? Is that a brother? It's like yeah. this tradition of just families and, and, and individuals who played for the programs, whose kids played for the program. And, you know, that, that's what it takes to win, that consistency uh, from the youth on up. So inside the final minute here of this first quarter. Yeah, that was a good trail check, stick check by, you know, Ellers, right? He's kind of doing it all, ground balls, scored a G, right? And good back check there as it looked like uh, Elmola was getting real close to the net. Thomas Murphy with the ball. He's got cash on him. Nice move, but an errant pass. 10 seconds. So here comes Northport, unsettled. Della Berti! Hello, I'm here, just in case you were wondering. That's the last thing you wanted if you were Melville. You're trying for the last shot, you get a turnover. Right there's there's uh, Grayson Cabrera. <laughs> That's a good guy to find, right? High and hard, right? He's shooting as soon as he gets, as soon as he gets off a bus or you know, as at home from from distance. Uh, tremendous shot, you know. That's what he's known for. Ohio State commit, you know, just a goalie's nightmare, right? With that right hand. Three-year starter for Northport, still a junior. Yeah, the coach is in Class A. You can't wait till he's gone. And no advantage on that final face-off, but the advantage on the scoreboard is three to the three-time defending Suffolk A champions. Hey, still here. You imagine having a goalie stick right here. Boop! Right up for 90. How you doing? Check the netting. <laughs> yeah, that net's taking a beating so far. Uh, great start for Northport. Northport leads by three right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. 
You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. Snap more than the ball? We've got specialists for that. Jump shot, leave your knee shot? We've got specialists for that. Face down after that face off? We've got specialists for that. Orland Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle, so you can feel better, faster. High school sports fans, Varsity Media Pass is the exclusive live stream partner of Nassau County Playoffs. For semifinal and championship coverage of boys and girls lacrosse, softball, and baseball, head to varsitymediapass.com to order. Varsity Media is the home for New York high school sports. Dylan Butler, Brian Soper, and some more Melville fans here as well across the way from our press box. It's the Tigers leading the Patriots 4-1 here after one quarter. A quarter that saw Northport have four different goal scorers. Nel Mala with a pair of assists to lead the way. Yeah, Ward Melville, they're going to look to clean things up, right? Some turnovers right in there, and has led to some transition uh, for Northport. And with Northport shooters, right, you you got to be a little more, uh, you know, valuing of the ball on offense. So the first possession of the second quarter goes to Ward Melville. Feels like a big possession, you know. They've struggled to win some of their one-on-one -on -one matchups. They need to see a ball go in. You know, especially from a short stick, right? Uh, the only goal they have is that pole goal. And they had possession before, but really didn't get a, a quality shot off, you would say. Jump shot, bouncer. That's a good look, wide of the net though. Yeah, just, just, you know, pull up your shorts and go hard, right? Attack the cage with reckless abandon. Great downhill dodge. That was McLaughlin, just he and McKay, a pair of thoroughbred horses. Yeah, he just looks different, right? <laughs> just look at the lower half, he just, that's, that's an athlete. There's Britman kind of directing traffic. Britman, wide, and I don't know how you doing? After the, the fact? Yeah, I don't know if they were asking where, where, to, where to eat after the game, I don't think so. Again, if you are a Patriot, you probably realized, if you, if you didn't know it before, certainly on the bus here, you knew the team that ended your season a year ago. That's the Tigers of Northport. No matter what you say, I still believe that like for, for like Melville is kind of like that team that, you know, you always want to be, right? They're, they're the standard, right? If you want to be someone to be considered great in Suffolk County, you got to be Melville. Rosano. Here's Morgan. We know he can get downhill. Love this matchup too. Morgan off the stick of Napolitano. Ground ball, yard sale. We're gonna go the other way. The second save by Napolitano on that off hip. Uh, good defense right by Northport, right? Giving those alleys, right? As a goalie, we, we love those kind of sharp angle shots. Uh, and he stood tall so far, gobbling those up. You know, that's also been a theme this year, like goalies who have waited in the wings, right, to, to be the guy, right? And now Napolitano, this is his team. Lachlan with that check at midfield gets the possession back. Not the guy you want to run into. As it's killed off out of the box. Oh, good eat. Oh, he loves it. <laughs> Don't rub it. I was going to say. Oh, and a kick save by Napolitano as well. BTB off the mark. Three shots for Ward Melville. And just the one save for Napolitano and a flag as well. Some juice right now for the hosts and a little extra. It's, get, it's getting crazy out there, Dell. No love lost between these two. The look so 
Yeah, look at this, a little hit here. Goalie's out, that's late. That's the thing, you don't do that. And if you're anyone from Northport, that's, Britman's gonna hear it and feel it from the Northport players. Niga stretched, a, a, he stressed a, a strong start, right? This is not the start that they were looking for. Down 4-1, some careless penalties. Sensing some frustration on the Melville sideline. Really courts the Northport coach being asked to go back to his coach's box as the officials look to figure this one out. Certainly that first one goes to Brit Britain. And that's where we saw the first flag, right? But then it was the extracurriculars that I think are being sorted out right now. Yeah, you know, he, he was walking off the field. The Northport player kind of walked in his way. You know, and then they got a little little chippy. Right, you see here, like, yeah, goalie's out, right? We gotta protect goalies. Can't do that, kid. Can't do that. And you know, see 24 here coming over. And I like, if I'm courts, I like that. Cause you got your goalies back. Yeah, you stand, you know, protect your goalie, right? The goalie's out, right? He's, he needs to be protected. And that was the Castro 24. <laughs> yeah, senior lefty. What do you think is going to happen? I think it'll be a man up for Northport, unless you're just saying that evens things out. Okay. Right? Like, I think maybe there's two in the box for Ward Melville and one in for Northport. And I think, unfortunately, this awning here is going to lock us out from the, the eclipse. The eclipse. Oh, yeah. I did see a cross check there. It's like another sign for a cross check on. So in is 14 for Northport. Valenti. Who even if he didn't do anything, I think they, I think they got the four right. I don't yeah. know if they got the one right. I think it might be two four. You're gonna have to probably count the number of players when you start up. That's how you know what we've got here. And I think I just heard someone say five on five. So maybe that was that, that equalizing little cross check to Britman. And Melville might actually get the ball because if that last foul was a dead ball foul, you know, both coaches, you just gotta, you gotta tell your guys to, to, to like, you know, it's getting heated out there. Show your, let's show some composure here. And let's get, get back to playing lacrosse. Valenti's like, hey, I didn't do anything. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> so yes, we will play five on five, and it will though be Northport ball. So after all that, we're even. There's Elmala, a couple of assists in that first quarter. Quinn Reynolds. You know, Mala going to Bryant, right? Bryant, I know they've been an active listener on uh, Varsity Media. They're recruiting Long Island really well, right? West from Southside, Amala from North Shore, North, North, uh, Northport, right? Hitting off both sides of the island. <laughs> now you just need someone right in the middle, right? Like <laughs> Cash took a step, gets it back. Yeah, you see McMinn there in, in the, in the, at the bottom, right, patrolling that crease. Negus called him the anchor. And that's, you know, Melville always has that one guy who, you know, you, if you're going to go in the middle, right, you better be ready to take a hit. And as soon as you pointed him out, started watching him as well, that head constantly turning. Yeah, just like a four-year starter. He's another coach on the field, another man up for Northport. A little bit more deliberate for Northport. They are one for two. That shot off the mark by Cash. McMinn, good, good, good check there. Good follow through. Cash is finding that sweet spot in the top high crease. Right, he got scored a goal there already. 
you know, perhaps now it stretches them a little bit outside. You might open up a skip lane. It's Della Birdie up top. Low to low, seeing it all the way was Defeaty. His third save. Yeah, good save. You know, as a shooter, you want to kind of change your levels. That was kind of a sidearm shot that kind of stayed even playing there. Look at my <laughs> incredible stuff from McLaughlin. Dude's bouncing off of him. We're not keeping a time of possession, so, but heavily favoring Northport. Yeah, exactly the stuff star Coach Quartz is looking for today. We've kind of seen two man up looks for Northport, one where Delaberti kind of stays high and he's a distributor. And we've also seen the one where he kind of floats through and kind of replaces for that right handed shot. So look for you know Melville to kind of maybe take some of those things away. Cabrera. Here he comes. Cabrera. Reverses course. Cash the hitch. Almala. Here's Cabrera again. Smart. And that just an errant pass. Somewhere Melville. Off of that unforced turnover. Hope to get something ignited here. They've been held at one, it feels like, for a very long time. McMinn gets it to McLaughlin. Nine goals, two assists on the year for Callan McLaughlin. Vegas says he and McKay, a nice one two punch. And Really, they combine well. Good balance there with Kilduff as well. On that first midfield line, here's Kilduff at Mount St. Mary's commit. Skip pass, low to low, off the mark. Yeah, Northport's done a good job keeping a lot of shots in the alleys and from out top. Right, nothing really in tight for Ward Melville yet. Tough one in that high crease, that off the mark. Yeah, feet inside, number three, Liam Banks Jr., right off ball player. You see him in, in, occupying that crease. You want to open up space for others, right? And here we go, BTB. Turn around the cage there, Rosano. Nice check. 25 for Ward Melville. Yeah, if I'm Melville, I might want to start trying to push the pace a little bit on offense. Not really doing much with the six on six. There you go. And they heard you. Quinn McKay with a much needed goal. That was a change up, right? Caught Napolitano off guard. Uh, but yeah, or attacking, uh, you know, attacking early in a possession here. Right, good job here. A little shake to the middle. Beats Cash, gets to the middle. Bouncer hits the turf, stings the corner. Good high bounce shot. Bouncers will go. Just what Ward Melville needed. Some early offense and a goal from a short stick. McKay's fourth of the season. And Ward Melville, this is the one that they've, the one matchup so far they have been winning. It's 4 2. The advantage for Murphy. This one kind of hiked backwards by Baumgarth. That's McKay Jr. also going to Bryant, so Bryant has a, commits on both sides. Bouncer! Off the crossbar. And McMinn, of course, listen, there's going to be a scrum. McMinn's coming away with it. Yeah. It's like a, 
a magnet on the 44 jersey for uh, Ward Melville. Such an awesome responsibility to wear that number. And Valenti coming the other way. Yard sale. Valenti's tough, man. Timeout, Northport. Just Valenti plays with such passion, passion and such energy. He's just all over the field uh, so far for, for Northport. Another look. Okay, yeah, see, good clear here. Here he comes out of the box. Did a little check, a little dig there. All right, ball's on the carpet. And so far, you know, Northport's won that ground ball war that Coach Negus was hoping was going to go the Patriot way uh, is now, you know, in favor of the Tigers. We're going to book a sports cast. Well, Varsity Media is the place to go. Contact Varsity Media today and have us produce a sports cast for your team. It includes announcers, graphics, instant replay, and multiple camera angles. A memory your team will enjoy for a lifetime. Call 516-403-2050. Email ben at varsitymedia.net. Been, been really impressed, right? We Coach Quartz talked about Grace, Grayson Cabrera as like maybe a guy who's going to be in the mix, but he's been more, more than in the mix. He's been stirring it up. Uh, he scooped up that ground ball. He's been a, uh, they pulled him up last year for the playoffs and his confidence seems to be sky high this year. Always love that look from teams, you know, that you bring the freshman, maybe he's not gonna play, right? But just listen, you're on the bus, you're, you're in the practices, you're on the sideline, you get the feel of the intensity of a varsity game in May. Like a little pressure ride here from Melville. Not quite a 10 man, maybe a nine, nine man kind of zone ride. That's one way to get out. Just give it to you, give it to your horse, right, Emila? I haven't called Lee and Kona's name much. Look for, look for him to try to get in the mix here. Just a sensational sophomore lefty right for Northport. Lea Kono, they get to to X to Delaberti. Delaberti, good friends today apparently with McMinn because wherever he goes, Lord Melville's 44 follows. A spin move there by McLam. He's got a goal. Four different goal scorers in this first half for Northport. Coming a break, switching. Things was Reynolds. Nice move from X and unable to finish there was McLam. Yeah, good move there by the Sacred Heart commit. Sacred Heart's on a, on, a, on a heater right now. They're hot. All right, just a good move. Just pulled it wide. Reynolds. I'd like to see McLam take maybe one more step there, right? It's a lefty goalie, right? Try to put that put that to the far side. There's a scoop by Reynolds. And there's Cash, Morgan chasing him down. Cash also a goal scorer this afternoon. Calling it there for a second. Lyakono is open. But Cash unable to find him. Good work there by Morgan. Here's El Mala. Slide comes his way. Keep it in, warning here by the refs. Yeah. So El Mala needs it up front. Down the birdie. That's what he wants back. Yeah, it doesn't miss that one too often. You see, they got the stall warning and immediately pushed the cage. You know, sometimes, you know, like the stall warning's on, no big deal, right? You still run your offense. It's just in a, in a shortened, condensed area. Lamb. Up top, Defeaty makes the save to deny Cash. Yeah, that one was from, from serious range by Cash. Easy stop for Defeaty. Like I said, just because the stall's on doesn't mean you need to rush anything. You just got to keep it in the box so 
Keep running your offense, keep being deliberate. You're up 4-2, less than two minutes to go. That's the Defeaty's fourth save. Both goalies with four saves inside the final two minutes. Looks like they took the stall warning off there after a couple of attempts. Yeah, you see shoulder on the, the, the second goalie warming up on the side, little ball toss, getting ready for the second half. Bring in the righty. Yeah. There's Lyakono. Great defense on him. Look at that suddenly. Here's Cash. Spins on Morgan. Slide comes his way. Almala. What a feed to Della Birdie. His second. Little off ball movement there. Della Birdie finds himself in the crease, right? Doesn't need to, to crank that one up. Just place that one. Tremendous offense, deliberate offense by Northport, getting exactly what they want. All right, you see Cash here kind of starts here on Morgan. Right, roll back. Emila slips here. He gets his third assist of the half. Quick stick, boom, right. That's one, that one's placement, not so much you know, speed. Second goal for Della Berti. Is Elmala's third assist. Murphy, Fogo goal! Boy, did they need that, Ward Melville. No, he's the lone guy, it's his show. Now you step up, right, you need it, right? Coach Negus thinks he's one of the best in the county, right, shows it there, shoots it to, to a really tough spot for Nap Napolitano to get to. Huge goal for Ward Melville. I'll correct you, he doesn't think he's one of the best. <laughs> he thinks he does have that best guy in Suffolk this year. And Murphy trying to back up that high brace. Split in that position a year ago. He's the man this year. Yeah, Negus said he spent a ton of time in the weight room getting bigger and stronger. Uh, you know, and, and if you're going to be a face-off guy in Suffolk County, you better be tough and in shape. These are a big 45 seconds, I think. It's It's been a first half that's, you dare say, dominated by Northport. And if you're Ward Melville here, if you get one here, you're only down by one. It's almost shocking that it's 5-3. It doesn't feel like it, but 5-3 you'll take. 5-4 will be huge momentum for Ward Melville. Here's Britman. You know, last time they tried to run the clock, they turned it over and led to a, a last-second goal by Della Birdie. That's the last thing you want to do. You do not want Northport to touch this ball again. Rittman, the feed. Oh, tough one there. It was Banks. Bank was closed by Napolitano there. I think he might have got a leg on it. His fifth, and you're right. Two seconds. Lyakono. One more save as well for Defeaty. Man, if he, got, if he got a leg on that, that was a ridiculous stop. Banks is the last guy you want to get off ball here. Here we go. Cash rules everything around me. Get it to the guy, Della Birdie. Boom. Tough spot for the lefty to get to. That's kind of how you draw it up for Northport, right? The Tigers have a two-goal lead. It's halftime here in Northport. Right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Snap more than the ball? We've got specialists for that. Jump shot, leave your knee shot? We've got specialists for that. Face down after that face off? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Dante! Does it again! Defensive play. Dante Zadaro. Yellico! Ties it up! By the end of the steps up and score! The jump shot, Fennell!
high school sports fans. Varsity Media Pass is the exclusive live stream partner of Nassau County Playoffs. For semifinal and championship coverage of boys and girls lacrosse, softball, and baseball, head to varsitymediapass.com to order. Varsity Media is the home for New York high school sports. Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. Hey sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Looking to grow your business on social media? Let Varsity Media help you. With over 50,000 followers across our platform, sponsor a segment during the broadcast and share it on social media the next day. It's the best of both worlds as you'll get thousands of plays and your ad will live on the broadcast forever. Contact us today for sponsorship packages by calling 917-470-0864 or emailing varsitymediasponsors at gmail.com. Did you just have the best athletic year of your life and now you want to show it off to college coaches? Well, let Varsity Media help you. Varsity Media's college recruiting videos show off your unique skills to help you land a spot on the team of your dream school. We'll provide music, spot shadow effects, and a link to send to your next coach. Contact us today for more information. Don't rely on word of mouth or cold emails. Let Varsity Media help you take your game to the next level. Feel like your game film is too stagnant and not providing you with the insight that your coaches had hoped for? Varsity Media offers game film to help your coaches develop a game plan to execute on game day. Our current clients love the Varsity Media difference, which includes more insightful camera angles and a speedy upload process. Start building your championship team today with award-winning individuals at Varsity Media. High school sports fans, are you following Varsity Media on our YouTube channel? For the best coverage of New York high school sports, make sure you head to youtube.com slash varsity media. Three easy steps. First, hit that like button, and then be sure to subscribe. And finally, tap that yellow bell to be notified of all of our upcoming sportscasts. Thank you for following Varsity Media on YouTube. Varsity Media is offering a video folder that you can customize to meet your needs. A photo of your athlete can be elegantly placed in the front panel. Essential statistics with a biography can be printed on the inside panel, and videos can be downloaded and viewed on an LCD screen for as long as two hours. The attractive video folder can be placed on a coffee table and instantly becomes a conversation starter. Order your video folder today by logging into varsitymediapass.com and click catalogs or give us a call at 516-403-2050. When it comes to advertising, are you hitting the right audience? Why waste your time with television or a free print publication that's given out at a local deli? Varsity Media has your back. 
With a following of over 50,000 and a local demographic ranging between the ages of 18 and 54 years old, it's time to get that return on investment. Plus, here's the best part. Your ad lives forever on our YouTube page. And with a large on-demand audience, it's a grand slam to advertise with Varsity Media. Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media by calling 516-403-2050 or email Ben at Varsity Media. Media.net. Did you know Varsity Media now offers action photography for all sporting events? Available for individuals or teams, we'll send dedicated photographers down to field level to capture your best moments. Our rates are affordable and our photos will leave you with lasting memories for a lifetime. Contact us today, mention this ad, and get $25 off your first order. Email ben at varsitymedia.net or call 516 516- Four zero three twenty fifty. Snap more than the ball? We've got specialists for that. Jump shot, leave your knee shot? We've got specialists for that. Face down after that face off? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle, so you can feel better, faster. Welcome back to Northport High School. Dylan Butler, Brian Soper, our entire Varsity Media crew here. It's halftime. It's Northport, the three-time defending Suffolk Class A champions. They've got a two goal lead over Ward Melville. We'll show you Soap the first half stats and kind of a almost a definition of how stats don't necessarily tell the story. I mean, listen, we are in a tight game, but this was heavily slanted towards Northport, at least possession and, and chances. And it was 4 1 for a while. Yeah, I think it's, you know, when Northport had the ball, right, they play a deliberate style, so that's why you don't maybe see as many turning into as many shots. Uh, but it's definitely been a game where Northport's got to gotta be happy, right? Coach Quartz talked about offensive timing. Uh, they look good offensive in their timing. They controlled aggression, right? No no fouls for Northport. So those are two two keys that Coach Quartz gave us this week on the, on the call. The face-off battle, the one that we were anticipating and looking forward to, Matt and Murphy, the edge there. Five saves apiece, but as you mentioned, Jay Negus going to the bullpen, splitting time. Something he said he hasn't had to do in, in quite a while. When we take a look now, it's Ethan Shoulder in the cage for Ward Melville. Here he is warming up. Senior righty as opposed to the lefty for Defeaty. And you see good numbers on the year as well for Shoulder. 28 saves. 24 goals against for a 53.8 save percentage. Coach Negus really likes that idea of, uh, you know, having a righty and lefty. He thinks it's an advantage. He thinks that it's something that uh, can throw teams off, right, to see a lefty and then a righty, right? So hopefully, you know, first few saves are going to be big for shoulder, right, as it's now on his shoulder, right, this this second half to lead a com- comeback for Ward Melville. Yeah, one point that he made about it too is, you know, when you switched up, especially going from a lefty to a righty, if you give the opposition an extra second or two to think, that's a, that's an advantage for his polls. So if you can get the attacking guys thinking a little bit, advantage. But of course, you know that Billy Quartz and his great coaching staff as well, they've done film. This has been the case all year. This isn't a something of a, a, a of a new thing for Ward Mello. They've split games this entire season. I think it shows you that like every single aspect of the game is, is thought about by these coaches. The fact that you're thinking about righty and lefty, how that's going to perhaps win a game for you. Uh, but super confident in both in, in both of uh, the goalkeepers for Melvin. Billy Courts coached youth lacrosse here in town for quite a long time. So a lot of these guys on his team He's had them from like third to eighth grade, so 
Uh, even though new to the head coaching position, and by the way, Larry Seracy, who was the head coach last three years, congratulations to him, a new dad. Reason why he stepped aside more time with the family, certainly you could appreciate and understand that. He's got the best job in the world now. So congratulations to Lowry for that, but uh, certainly familiarity for, for Quartz. Yeah, and Quartz has, you know, Spadaro and McLaughlin on his staff as well that are both volunteers that are youth coaches. Um, you know, Spadaro was a, you know, works with the goalies and we saw the face-offs at, at halftime working with them. So tremendous, everyone giving back to the community. He's a former FDNY guy, another guy like you mentioned was Quartz's right-hand man with the youth programs here in town. Seracy so stayed on as an assistant. He runs the offense. Quartz, of course, runs the defense. Oh, man! Reynolds! He's not just a D-Mitty, folks. I mean, he's just the, he's the igniter, right? So first two, first goal of the game in the first quarter, now it opens the half with the goal. If you're not gonna, you're not gonna play me, a little got caught in the sub game here, right? He steps in, right? Not gonna guard me, I'll take that. Right, tough first shot to see, right? If you're, if you're shoulder. But I was gonna say, like Reynolds, he talked, like Quartz talked about as a youth, right? Remembering Reynolds when he was like a little kid and just running around, couldn't get him off the field. How cool is it to coach him in a senior year, right, as they're looking to get back to a Long Island championship? Now another faceoff one. So back to back to start this second half for Northport. Great wing play, right? Valenti, Reynolds, right, are just two great wing players. So you give them a chance to those guys to scoop it up, they're gonna come in and get it. So it's amazing how this game, right, the fastest game on two feet, how quickly it changes, right? It was, you were staring at the possibility of a one goal game at halftime as Ward Melville had the ball. And now it's another three goal deficit. And Northport has the ball. Just a huge call, right? You talk about both coaches, I'm sure, they said this next goal is important. Uh, and Reynolds is the guy who steps up. And it's about getting possession, right? Got the possession and capitalized. And even though he's a full-time midi now, you got to think every goal by Reynolds, it has that juice feel because of his work against the ball. Yeah, he's the heart and soul of the program, right? Everyone knows it, um, you know, the experience and what he brings to the table. Like Kono, shot off the mark. Five goals a year ago in the semifinals. Against Melville, right? As a freshman for Lyakono. And he's even a kid that Negus said he trained in the winter. Yeah, said, Negus had such high respect for him as well. There he is again, drawing McMinn. So high respect for the Patriots on the field as well. Here's Delaberti. Not known as a prolific dodger, certainly a shooter. So he'll get it out to Cash. Cash. Nice move, creates a separation, and a cash deposit in the back of the net. A little visit to the ATM there for, for Logan. Just, he's a, he's a tremendous dodger, right? It's just, he has a wide, wide variety of moves here. See, gives him a little hezzy shake here as he gets to X, right? Little, little stagger there, gets a stick, stick has eyes, gets top side, buries it five hole. Two shots for, 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 for Northport in the second half, two goals. And now a 7-3 lead for the champs. Baumgarth goes backwards, up in the air, Valenti. There's that guy again. Like a wolf. Great pass. Now numbers. And that was fired off the mark by Reynolds, looking for his third. But you know, we we detailed Ward Melville and Murphy, and listen, Baumgarth, there's been some really good face-off guys here, right? These last few years, you know, you you go back 
to Austin Henningsen, of course. He played at Maryland, Ty uh, Tyler Kuparanchik at Penn State. And Court said, you know, this Baumgarth might be the best of them all. Amazing, right? Just tremendous respect. And to say that, right, about a junior, right, who still has another year. No, it's such a nice luxury to have a guy at the X that you trust and can get you possessions, especially if you're looking to play the way Northport plays. Here's Reynolds. Good look, He's trying to be a, a split dodge. And this is the first time, actually, that shoulder touches the ball. And a failed clearance. Good effort given by McMinn, as, as we expect, of course, but it goes the other way. Yeah, Elmala looking to be a, a shooter there. He you know, been more of a dish guy in the second half. I think I've butchered his name a couple <laughs> times in the first half. I'm trying to make up for it. Uh, but, you know, El, El, El Mala. Yeah, El Mala. <laughs> so you see, you know, a little different wrinkle for Northport coming out of the half. You've seen Della Birdie dodge, dodge twice. El Mala dodging. I like what we've seen too from Cabrera, right? Here's Deliberti. Oh man. He looked like old school Charles Barkley getting to the cage. Yeah, that was like, that was definitely like old school. Like, I don't need to put it in my left. I'm gonna bully my way to the cage. Seeing really they good job spreading them out. You see three times in a row here. All right, Sir Charles going to the rack. <laughs> Good, good switch of hands there, just showing the athleticism of Della Berti. Just tremendous hands on him, right? Just a nose for the goal. You know, some guys, their ball just goes in the net, and, uh, you know, 59 times this year, uh, I think it's 16 or 17 this year, the kid just scores goals. For three today. And that's one of those where Murphy gets the win, but not the possession, as Valenti comes away with it. Yeah, any momentum that Melville built, you know, late in that second half uh, is virtually a race right now with this start by Northport. That was a nice fake. That was Levine. And Levine still with it. Trail check. And a good one coming from Jake Sudley. That's the second one by Sudley. Desperately need a possession here and a goal. If you're Melville, I think you're going to want to try to push, try to, you know, the tempo of this game has to change for Ward Melville if they can get back in it. And there you go. Britman delivers. You have to, right? You just feel it, right? You just feel that this pace of this game has to change if Ward Melville's going to get back in it and the senior or, or highlighted player to start the game. Coach Niga says he's the guy that stirs the stirs the drink for us. Usually, you know, more of an assist guy, but this year, right, taking taking a, taking a role as an offensive scorer. And Niga is gonna have to, is gonna love the look there too, right, by Britman, the bouncer. Yeah, you gotta hit the net, right? You gotta hit the net, put it on cage. I always say, make the goalie make a save. That'll be a push. Pick it up, I'm Garth. Let's go. So eight four, the lead for Northport. Ward Melville trying to chip away. Lost twice last year to the Tigers, including, of course, that semifinal loss. Went thirteen and five. Other losses last year to Chaminade and Garden City. Low bouncer. And there's the save from Napolitano. Yeah, that was, McK that was McKay, nice roll back. You know, shooting from range. Got him last time on the high bouncer. Napolitano said, you get me once, but not a second time. And that's one a little bit sloppy there for Northport. A shoulder gets it from McMinn. Challenge there by McLam. Go pole to pole. Good job there by Melville. Patient in the clear. 
And here's McLaughlin. Into the teeth of the D. Oh, what a save! Napolitano got down low. A little split save there by Napolitano. A little pumped up. You can see the energy that he's just exuding, where I just bailed out. Little, little, uh, little 50 50 scrapper ball that gets loose there. Pick it up, a little loose change. Nope, kick save. Call that the Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Here's when he kicks that leg up. Yeah. yeah, that's a penalty. When the ball isn't there, it was getting there, but not quite fast enough. Derek Vasallo will go in. So Coach Court stressed controlled aggression, right? And that was, yeah, right? Just a just, uh, little collision there in the middle. First time we'll see the Patriot man up. I believe that's a one minute for a cross check. Maybe we can get a little window in the top of that uh, awning there. To yeah, see through. tough. So big man up for the Patriots here. Down by four. Yeah, look for you know look look for Bur Banks. In, he's gonna find his way somewhere towards the crease, off ball. He's the guy that I want to try to get the ball to. Rosano, GLE, skip pass. He's fired wide of the mark. McKay's not, a, he's not afraid to shoot. Rosano, rang off the pipe. Low angle shot, good position by Napolitano, not much to shoot at. Rosano again. I just like the tempo. Melville's playing a little, little, little quicker tempo on offense. Rittman rounds the cage and gets the man up goal. Huge goal. Right, nothing fancy there. Just a little hard, hard to X. Right, you're trying to see if someone's going to play you. No one slides. Senior step up. Right, you got to step up here. A little miscommunication. I'll take that. Nice goal. Huge energy guy, you can tell, you know, Brittman looking to fire up, future Gale at Iona. Um, two huge goals here for, 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 for him in this second half. Yeah, two and one on the game for Brittman to lead the way for the Patriots. And Baumgarth comes away with this one. Or did he? Huge ground ball here. A scrum. What do we got? We have a push. Ward Melville ball. Great job by Ward Melville. They lost, they actually lost that face off, but just relentlessly double, triple teamed it. A little shish kebab. Got the ball on the ground. Push for Northport. Well, it's not the PLL, right? You got to chip away one goal at a time. And that's what the Patriots are trying to do here. Yeah, lacrosse is just such a momentum game. You kind of feel it swinging, especially if you can get one more here. Morgan to Kilduff. You're kind of mixing up your lines a little bit. Morgan playing on that first midfield line. There's Kilduff. Rosano. And there's Banks. Still man up, huh? Pass picked off by Valenti. And he's taken down, but. So the initial, the referee pointed to stay Ward Melville ball. And it appears the Patriots will have to take another look here. Yeah, trying to throw a skip here, right? A little, little knock it down and got it by Valenti. Rosano clipped him down. Yeah, it's tough, a tough call. The, 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 the fans definitely want a penalty call, but no laundry on the ground here. And here's Brittman, can they take advantage, the Patriots? How long was this foul? Well, there's another flag now. 
might be on the side edge, right? Obviously, we're not happy that there was no call there. Yeah, 30 second technical. I thought it was just a one minute. I mean, again, we yeah. we can't see when the referee goes to the table. He, he goes beneath our vantage point. It seems like a, they've been on. They've been man up for for quite a long time, and now they're gonna be down two men. Wow. Now you got five out there for Northport. So I think the other penalty might have just went off as this 30 second started. A little razzle dazzle there by the Patriots, a little fake flips and handoffs. And Northport hasn't bit. Lord of High, great save by Napolitano. The one with the leg. I think that was me. I think that was killed off with that shot. Good feed by Britton. And there is a penalty against Kildoff. Broke his stick. Yeah, you gotta blow the whistle, ref. This will be a hold against Kildoff. Another look. Yeah, there's Reynolds, right? One hand whack, stick breaks. Usually when you break your stick across someone's leg, it's probably gonna be a foul. Stay up, GC! Well, here's the thing. So the initial call, it looked like it was for a hold, right, from that far side official. The only thing that he was holding was the shaft of the stick <laughs> that he broke over the Northport player. It's got to be a one-minute slash, no? You never quite know. Again, unfortunately, he's going to go underneath this... It's like, a, it's like a medical tent in the NFL. <laughs> you can't see anything inside of it. Yeah, we didn't see anything here. We apologize, folks. And the scoreboard at Northport is not one of those that put, you know, it has the ability to put the time up either for the penalty. So, do you see Delaberti here? He's, he's when he's been in top center. Kind of stays there and then looks for cash and a couple other guys who were kind of swinging through and replacing. Well, here comes that little wheel. Shot off the mark. You know, Elmala becomes the quarterback there and kind of, you know, everyone's, all the attention's going to, to Della Birdie, right? And you got. By a Kono there with the left. You got lefty and righty shooters on both sides. Or even. So based on that, stayed a 30 second penalty. Yeah, you were right, a hold. Forced one into the crease. Here come the Patriots now. It's only a three goal game. That was a really good play by Murphy. Heads up, he had to catch that ball with all white jerseys around him, ready to knock him to the ground. I think, I think the, the shadows and the sun is a little bit of an issue, right? You saw Deliberti on the man up, so, you know, good job there, right? Kind of shortening that pass and giving a catchable ball. We need to get some of Drip King stuff, right? Get the eye black going. So this McLaughlin now inside the final minute. I feel like this is now the third quarter, right? Right, it is. The third quarter that Ward Melville's had the ball. And the first two, not only did they not capitalize, they gave Northport a chance on the other side. Yeah, and the end of end of uh, quarter possessions are so important. Northport's done a great job with Valente getting the matchups that they want. He was on McLaughlin there. Here's Kilduff. Checks behind him to the scoreboard. Kilduff. And now McLaughlin, 10 seconds. McLaughlin, the bouncer and the goal! Juice goal for the Patriots. Future Crimson says, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a big boy here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the rack short time. Right, 
it's like, you know, Harvard, Boston, Patriot, right, just kind of fits, tucks his stick. Get a little bit of like a, a, an off-speed pitch, a little, I don't know, Wakefield knuckleball, right? Uh, but a tremendous, uh, tremendous move just going to the cage. Murphy wins this one. He's only a junior. Valenti, though, comes away. Valenti, no shot on that last chance. McLaughlin made sure of that. It's a two goal game, buddy, and this is the reason why. A little yeah. shake, a little shimmy by Kilduff, and let's get it to the big man. McLaughlin, split dodge. The bouncer. Stop me if you can. It's like he goes so hard and then the shot comes out and it, it kind of uh, kind of got a little bit off speed, but a, wick, a wicked good bouncer. Yeah. Two goal game, fourth quarter coming up next on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Hey sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. We are not actually at Sweeney Field, but for Sweeney on the ones and twos here, we have to give respect. Not sure if that's named after him. We'll get the we'll get the correction there, but Sweeney Field off in the distance, part of some terrific athletic facilities here in Northport. Love their gym too, right? One of those tight gyms and fans right on you. And the banners just wrapping the field with all the support and boosters, right? It's just you got that college feel. Face-off win there for Northport, but again, now it's a 50-50. Gallaberti wins, it just kind of throws it into space, which allows the ground ball to be won. Yeah, Northport kind of taking some 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 passes, a little little uh, you know high risk passes. It works out. Deliberti gooses it ahead to McLam to get a crucial possession here for Northport. Again, yeah, you're right. Like, it, and and obviously it'll it'll be the case. It's almost lacrosse cliche, but as this game gets on, every possession is going to get more and more important. But you're right. It feels that way because momentum. Appears to be ha or appears to have shifted to the guys in green. Yeah, big. You know, you need a stop here, right? Like Reynolds is, has been the the guy in early in the quarters. Uh, you got to try to keep Northport off the scoreboard here. Reynolds has been on the scoreboard twice. Almala has been a great facilitator this afternoon, and Delaberti's found different ways to score. Yeah, Reynolds, is, you know, his goals have come more in transition. Ward Mill has done a good job with their six-on-six -six defense against him. Good piece. Right sh shoulder dipped, dipped low, but got a piece with the plastic. Uh, Cash has a real deceptive kind of low-to-high delivery. Good stop there, his best of the game. Off the restart. Here's Almala. He showed you those standings at the start, and we thought coming in the top three teams probably Hills and these two, right? And to this point of the season, there's still a lot of lacrosse to be played, but that's kind of rung true. Lowering the shoulder there, that is a big boy matchup. McMinn on Delaberti. Now Delaberti's got some space. Good defense there. 
Sudley's been impressive on the ball. Yeah, we've called his name out a few times. Just that guy who's just always, his stick is out. He's in good position, good technique, low, low man wins, right? He's done a good job, like not trying to take it away, just trying to stop momentum. Here's Reynolds. It's the Liberty up top. We've seen him there on man up opportunities. Almala nearly lost it. Just absolutely harassed there by Ben Ellers. And Ellers had a goal as well in, this, in the first half. Got to stay with your men here. Watch for cutters. Don't fall asleep. Great decision. It does leave a man open. Good recovery by McMinn. And that shot from distance, why? Both teams there just put on clinics, right? That was a great job getting away from a double team and getting the ball to the opposite side. And that was a great double team and recovery by Melville, just showing how well coached both squads are. There's Liacono. And McLam, a guy who this year has really risen to the occasion. Yes. He doesn't look the part, right, with his stature, but just tough as nails. Shifty. Plays a two-man game. At X, there's Liacono. When will, uh, there it is. I was going to say, when will the stall warning come up? And it is up. You know, if you're Northport, you know, I thought last time they got the stall warning, they kind of felt like it meant they had to, like, there was a shot clock. There's not. You can still use the clock to your advantage here. McLam, tough feet in front, shoulder, gets the ball. Yeah, you see the Northport sideline, like, you know, palms up, like, this is, this is what we, we, we get to stall. We can't let it, you know, stop or, or what we're trying to do. Here's McLaughlin. Lachlan against Valenti. And now Kilduff. Where Melville, the opportunity to pull within one here. Yeah, McLaughlin looks a little shaken up here. Valenti threw some, threw some hard checks on him. There's the feed. Oh, great save by Napolitano. Siniglio denied. Loose ball though, it's picked up. Britman, the feed. Siniglio hammered in front. And there's the pickup off the ground and the goal. Britman. Zach attack. Britman's been the guy here. That's a hat trick in the in the second half for him. Johnny on the spot, ride back by Melville. He feeds it inside, takes a hit, keeps on ticking there, finds it, loose change, bang, high, little high smoke there by Britton. Melville needed that goal, huge. Great stop by Napolitano, good ride back by Melville. Nice nugget there with the ride back. Big face off here, Valenti, of course. Valente! Little switch to the left hand. Don't mind if I do. Tremendous, tremendous. I mean, if a pole goal, we need a we need a we need an offhand pole goal call. Look at this, going righty here. Gonna go lefty, low and away. Do it all, Valenti. That's the costco size Tropicana juice goal that just happened there. Amazing, right? Not only is it a pole goal, but it's an offhand pole goal to the low corner. Good luck trying to get that one. Valenti, goal number three on the year. Super impressive, right? Junior, right? any college coaches watching, right? Get his number. Now Murphy wins the face-off, and back we go as where Melville just continues to try to claw their way back. This is fun. Brody Morgan on Reynolds. 
Reynolds picks the pocket. That's what he does. Reynolds. Reynolds denied high. Shoulder the save. Defeaty denied him. Push it here. Transition opportunity and wide by Morgan. I mean, the ability to, to just be a guy, Reynolds, with a short stick. Boom, jam, right? Little, little can opener lift. Love that. Rosano. Little spin. Napolitano the save. Loose ball in front, though. And it comes to Bowen. I like, Bowen. What, I like what Melville's been doing, right? They've been running Rosano, the lefty Sacred Heart commit out of the box, getting him some good matchups. He, he got top side there, and Napolitano said not today. Larry Ceresi, who runs the offense, he's got the hands up. It's not NASCAR right now, it's slow it down. Yeah, take some of the air out of this ball. Here's Cabrera. He's a backhand whack by Thomas Murphy. Cabrera gets the X. Cabrera's still on it. This time draws the pole. McMinn. Yeah, you see Melville starting to push out a little bit. Swim dive, Almala. Almala! Three assists on the day. That's goal number one for the senior. Bound for Bryant. Right, Melville pushes out a little bit. McMinn kind of pressuring him out. Almala shows a little swim move. Puts it in his left. He's surveying, looking the pass. No one's going to come to me. I'll take that. Takes it to the rack. Future Bryant Bulldog. Huge, huge goal for Northport. And lead now three. Tigers have led throughout where Melville's knocked on the door, but every time they have, so Northport's had the answer, and this is one of the reasons why. Valenti with the kick to himself. Leocono. I mean, that was so subtle what he did. He was in traffic, kicked it to some space, scooped it. And it's scary to think, too, Brian, how good Northport can be defensively when they get Cam Foley back. He's the Stony Brook bound junior. Basically, he'd be the LSM, and then Valenti would move back to close D. Huge, you know, huge shoes to fill, all right, uh, with that long stick. He's, he's, he's wearing the same size. So as we've done throughout all of our sports casts this spring, let's take a look at some next level guys. First, for the Patriots of Ward Melville. And Aviles at Hopkins. Palinetti to transfer to Stony Brook. Krieg, of course, still one of the best goalies. We'll see him playing next level. You see Flynn the Providence, but we wanted to show you Rafini here. RPI ranked number two in the country, Division Three, and he's tearing it up. It just shows you, right, there's so many places to play now. RPI, those top toughs, right, those, those D3 schools are just powerhouses offensively, and Rafini's just absolutely lighting it up for them. I'll show you some of the next level guys for Northport now, and we got Meyer at Bucknell, Michio, part of that Sacred Heart crew, a graduate student this year. Big reason why Sacred Heart's having there. Turn around, McCarthy at Siena. Now Fierro and Miller, they've not stepped on the field yet, but high point in Army, man. They've got a couple of really good ones. Yeah, Mike Meyer was a, absolutely a terror, right, for, for, for Northport. And then Drew Miller, like I just said, like, you know, those are massive shoes to fill. And the way that, you know, the way that Valente's been playing, it's like, you just, you have to live up to that, to that height, right? You have to live up to that position. And I'm sure every every long stick mini that follows Drew Miller now has, has to has to you know live up to the hype of, of, of how well he played and how much he impacted the game. So off the timeout, you got Morgan just slinging it downfield. 
Valenti that time bit, so you've got some numbers for Ward Melville. Look at the recovery by Valenti. So even when he jumped, he's able to recover so quickly. That was McLaughlin looking like he's playing indoor there. Not a lot of room to move those hands. You see you had Reynolds on McLaughlin now. You see Valente taking his regular matchup. And that's two, right? Rosano doesn't get everything off it. A couple of guys on him, and then there's no backup either. Yeah, I think that was Levine, Asher Levine, who got a, a check there. Reynolds was also around the ball. Good, good way to meet the crease there and get a check so he couldn't get anything on that shot. And Napolitano chases it to the end line. Now Northport, oh, they've got a chance if they can get the clear. Look out, McLaughlin comes away. McLaughlin, Napolitano, that's one that he forced there, so. Yeah, just didn't get a ton of steam on it, shot it at his feet. But I like what Melville did there with Ellers, right, kind of jumping the, the ride, got a, got a knockdown, got the ball, got the, you know, got a possession, right, but better play shot there, I'm sure Coach Negus would want from McLaughlin. It's kind of that gray area, right, you're down three, right, you want to push a little bit. Maybe, maybe look low and shoot that one high. Yeah, changing levels has been a recurring theme for Ward Melville in the early goings of their season. Whoa, big min. My goodness. Great double team. That's what happens when you run into 44 for Ward Melville. Morgan tries to pick it up off the carpet. Yeah, he's going to Binghamton, just smart, right? That that double team is just so well timed. Time, now another chance for Ward Melville. All he can hope for your defense to give you opportunities, give you a chance. That's Britman. He's been the leader. Here's Kilduff now. Kilduff switches hands, and he wins that race. Good defense by Northport to keep him down the alley. Napolitano, great job holding his pipe there. Killed off! Count it. Right a little win the whistle there, or attack it right off the end line. His first of this game. Yeah, nothing, nothing special here. A little, little, little S type of S dodge here. Gets top side, no slide coming. Napolitano leaves his pipe there to challenge the shooter. Sneaky little finish there by Kilduff. Huge goal for Melvin. And now an even bigger face-off. The advantage on the wings has been Northport's. Even yeah, if Murphy's had the edge in the individual matchup with Baumgart, he wins this one cleanly now. That was Banks. Right. North Fort ball. Ward Melville got that got the face off when they're looking for. They they little 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 sneak attack ride before. Let's see if they kind of do the same thing. Look for Ellers to be a pest there in the middle of the field. And they're coming. Here he comes. And a timeout called by North Fort as the Tigers struggling. To get the clear here with a minute 25 left. Look how smart this is. Reynolds is out there. He's kind of telling the ref where to put the ball. <laughs> and he was two yards further because if he gets five yards, right, they can't they can't be in front of him. That just uh, shows the IQ there by him. Let's see what's coming up next for both of these teams. First up for Northport. Got Comac. Go to East, you go to Bayshore, you go to Pat Med. Station North comes this way. That Garden City game, a game that we'll have for you. Note though, it's not on the Varsity Media Sports Network's YouTube. It'll be on Varsity Media Pass. Free though, more details in the coming days about that. That's gonna be under the lights of Farmingdale State. That'll be fun. That's gonna be a huge, huge game, right? Little, you know, Garden City's the B powerhouse against the, the Suffolk A, right? Great to see those cross conference matchups. Then you got Middle Country as well, upcoming games for the Tigers. Let's look at Ward Melville's upcoming slate, Middle Country there. You got East, Bayshore, 
you go to Connect Plot, home for Comac, you go to Lindy, and then a big, big one. And yeah, circle that on your calendar, 5 4. And how about Northport 2, where they end their regular season against Hills? A lot to be decided late in this regular season. Nothing easy about those schedules. So Reynolds maybe earned himself a few more yards. <laughs> a little, we got a little ten man, a little ten man. Yes. Shoulder, He's out. shoulder. Love it. There it is. They were ready for it. And it's almost like a nine and a half man run. Got sure. what they wanted. Hung out, but here comes Ward Melville nope. off the turnover. Oh. So they forced it to the crease. It's a game of inches. And that was a pass, not a shot. So it's double whammy. Northport ball. I love. I mean, Coach Negus has been doing everything they can to get back in this. How smart was that as well? We're off sides. By Almala. He doesn't try to wait. Like, he's going to run it out. He's going to punt return. Yeah, enough of these long passes and turnovers. Now, shoulder out as the extra defender. They've got to keep it in, Northport. Almala loses it. Don't step in, Marcus. Shoulder. Yeah, I'm not stepping in the crease. Oh. Soap's become the coach again now. And some more physicality nearly after the whistle. What do we got? Got a flag. A little extracurricular on the goalie hitting his elbows. Yeah, good double team here. Got what you wanted here. You get it on the carpet. McMinn. Check. Boom. Just the strength of him. Coming up here. Doesn't get any crease. Cash. Yeah, a little hold. Show the sign for one minute. So maybe a slash here. Thirty-nine seconds left. So Ward Melville, good goal, face off. That's the recipe. Let's go, let's go defense! You got this defense! Let's go, Nick! And it starts with Morgan out of that block. End. And actually it won't because Ward Melville will talk things over. Take a quick break as well. 39 seconds left, fourth quarter. Northport trying to hold on to a two-goal lead. You're watching it right here in the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's premier high school sports network. Did you just have the best athletic year of your life? And now you want to show it off to college coaches? Well, let Varsity Media help you. Varsity Media's college recruiting videos show off your unique skills to help you land a spot on the team of your dream school. We'll provide music, spot shadow effects, and a link to send to your next coach. Contact us today for more information. Don't rely on word of mouth or cold emails. Let Varsity Media help you take your game to the next level. Looking to grow your business on social media? Let Varsity Media help you. With over 50,000 followers across our platform, sponsor a segment during the broadcast and share it on social media the next day. It's the best of both worlds as you'll get thousands of plays and your ad will live on the broadcast forever. Contact us today for sponsorship packages by calling 917-470-0864 or emailing varsitymediasponsors at gmail.com. Back here at Northport, Ward Melville. Man up, 39 seconds left, down by two. Here's Morgan. It's killed off now. Here's a skip, feed in front. Banks, does he get it? Loose ball, who else? Valenti. Taking a few whacks. Took an extra one there as well. Great little play by Melville coming out of the timeout. Got what you wanted. Banks just couldn't handle it inside. Give Valenti a chance to scoop a one-time GB. He's going to come out with it. Now Northport can all but ice this one. They've got the ball. 19 seconds left. I virtually guarantee you there's going to be one more flag here. And there it is. <laughs> you knew. So yeah. you knew it was coming. That was... was a given you know it's just that's like you know it's hard to manage those end of the game situations right short time double teams frustrated teams one's about to win one's about to lose 
you know, sometimes the sticks, it's a violent game, right? You're, you're able to swing sticks at people and hit them, right? And sometimes it, it turns ugly. Other times you're able to break your stick and only go on for 30 seconds. Yeah, the, the good, good composure there. Got a little chippy, but, you know, you just go to your box, right, and then kind of, you know, end this game. Good, good to see nothing else happen. Both coaches want, probably want to see a little more composure out of their guys. A lot of guys in the field right now. It's a lot in the box for North Point. They get hit with two there. It is, oh, there's the extra, so. You've got four defenders. You gotta do the supersonic quick shot here and then phase it off. Five on four with 13 seconds left. Or is it? I'm taking a look at Quartz. He just has his arms out like, what are we doing? I mean, when you're on. It was definitely a foul on Melville, right? And then Delaberti kind of took a shot after the, after the whistle. That's the reason why I think it's Melville's ball. Let's rinse and repeat here, right? Morgan. Six on four. So no original flag for Melville. So Morgan, another chance with eight. Feed the crease, and there's the goal. Six, somehow we got a six on four goal out of that. There's, is it just enough time to push it forward, dare I say? Rosano gets it. Britman. Good job here. Pass down, little skip here. Britman, great look. Finish, Rosano. You sprint to, you know, you sprint to the face-off X and let's go. Let's give it a shot. It's a man up. Oh, it's even now. You have Valenti out there. You just got to tie him up here. Do not let him go forward. Here we go, five seconds. Good job tying him up. Murphy gets it back. He won't even get a final shot off. And Northport. They win this one 10-9. It was as advertised, so. Yeah, one goal game, gutty win by Northport. Kind of coat the way the, the way Coach Courts if he could script the game right tempo wise I think it was good for Northport. Melville is positives right they 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 didn't have the ball that much still scored nine goals fought their way back in it had a chance at the end to tie it up. Uh, I thought Melville pulled out everything they could with the rides and, and doubles and they did everything they could to try to win this game. But Northport was just too tough and really capitalized you know early early in quarters and halves. Ward Melville, they'll fall to four and three overall. That their first league loss, so they're four and one there. Northport now five and one on the season as the two teams. You know, it's kind of like a game seven in the NHL, right? Like after all of that, you go through the line. It's a great show of respect for both of these programs. I think the goal for them is to see each other again, right? They hope to, to see each other in the playoffs, and uh, you know, round one goes to Northport, but you know, the, the next round is the one that's really important. And I think both teams have a lot of positives to take away from today, but also some things that they're definitely going to want to clean up, right, as they move into this very tough remaining schedules they have. Jack Delaberti, we showed him, we're showing him there, number one, three goals on the game, including. The Speed Island, speedy play of the game. Improve your speed with Onyx, Salva, and team. Located in Garden City, visit speedislandny.com to book your session today. And so we'll go back. Yeah, this one's all about the speed of the ball moving, right? Cash is going to get it to uh, Elmala. 
Little slip here. Look how quick the ball is. It's not in the stick for this is speed. Boom, out. Look how quick catch release. This quick is stick. really speed. There you go. <laughs> Even in slow motion, that's speedy. Yeah, just tremendous tic-tac-toe precision there. Uh, Speed Island does a tremendous job getting guys ready and, and improving games uh, for everybody, right? So just a great job uh, by Northport there to, to, to speed out of here with a win. Delaberti, three goals in the game, two apiece for Logan Cash and Quinn Reynolds. Luca Elmala, a goal and three assists as well. McLam and Valenti. With a goal each, great battle. The face-off effects as well for Ward Melville. They were led by Zach Brittman, as we kind of expected. Three goals, two assists, single goes goals by Rosano, Kilduff, McLaughlin, McKay, Murphy, and Ellers. So that'll do it here from Northport High School. Terrific big boy lacrosse game here in Suffolk County. For our entire varsity media crew, our executive producer, Ben Turchin. Our technical director, Chris Sweeney, for Tony Damaso and Travis DeLuise. My broadcast partner, Brian Soper, Dylan Butler, thanking you for joining us from Northport High School. We look forward to seeing you next time right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network.